everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I am showing you this video that I promised on the Live Beautifully It brushes that I have here um, that I've been dying to do a review on for you guys because I'm absolutely loving them. So let's go over the first one. So the first brush that I have, the Live Beautifully It brush, is the 211 All Over Powder Brush. Can we just check out how gorgeous these hairs are? They're more of like an optical blurring hair, which is really, really nice that I love about them. Um, and they're synthetic, but they're really, really soft. And you could literally like pull on these brushes and your bristles are not falling out because the worst thing to have, which I'm sure most of you experience, is a cheap brush and then you're getting these hairs all over your face. So annoying. Anyhow, what I love about this powder brush that I have experienced is besides taking longer in the mirror, doing my makeup and just really just loving, I'm like, I love the feel of this brush right now and I can just keep going. I'm like, okay, Renee, stop. Like, you're done with your makeup. Um, I use this all the time for my setting powder and I love how this just really gives a nice even application all over my face but the downfall the only downfall is I take forever putting my makeup on even more time because they just feel so soft Next I have the 227 Flawless Brush. This is an angle blush brush, but I love using this for contouring, especially to get to the tragus of the ear and really blending out those harsh lines when you do your contouring underneath your cheekbone. This is absolutely fabulous to use. I did it, I actually had used this brush in my part two Too Faced Carousel series, and I had to show how amazing the really really pretty how this actually just goes through and really buffs everything out nicely um, I also use it around the hairline area so you don't use sometimes I was using a smaller brush to contour with and it just seemed like a lot of bronzer around my hairline so this makes it look as natural as possible <laughs> first brush that I actually purchased out of all the brushes that caught my eye the most. This is a 203 concealer blending brush. Now the thing is why I wanted this more than anything really wasn't just to use for concealing which is great to buff out underneath the eye area and getting into those creases that are really hard and you start to get lines and stuff from your concealer. This really buffs it out and makes it look like your skin and helps because sometimes Sometimes if you put too much concealer underneath the eye area, what happens is a lot of women experience it tends to cake, it creases in the lines, and we really, really don't like that because who wants to accentuate their lines and look older all day? Because I sure don't. I literally have a fear of wrinkles. Anywho. I bought this because I think it works great as a transition in the crease, so you can definitely multitask with this. You can use it even um, as a highlighter on like your cheekbone area. So a multitasking brush that you can incorporate with any look, you guys. You have to, at least from the entire collection, get the 203 Blending Concealer Brush because this bad boy right here, it looks like a little troll here, the way they are, so cute. I don't know why, I think brushes are really cute, okay? Next is the 112 Precision Airbrush Eyeshadow. Um, this is in the same thing, it's it Cosmetics, but it's in a different type of collection. A bit more dense, the brushes, where the Live Beautifully ones are a little bit more softer. But what I've experienced with the airbrush, shadow brush, them being a little bit more dense, is I love how I have control into really patting on the eyeshadow. So like you've guys seen in all my recent new videos right now, these work absolutely amazing. And so next I have the 105 Blending Crease Airbrush Brush from the line. And of course, this is a little bit more denser than me using the other blending conceal brush as a transition. And I like how I can go a little bit deeper and get more depth into the eye with this brush. I need softness. I need like squirrel fluffy tail on my eyelids. <laughs> okay, well not actually really squirrel. 
That didn't sound good. Anyhow, they are a cruelty-free line, so don't let me scare you with that. And then last but not least is my 112 angled liner airbrush brush, which is just your standard angle brush. The only thing about this brush that I, I love is that it really um, holds together and it has a nice grip to it where the bristles are not opening up on you so you get a nice precise line out of this. If you guys have this brush, let me know what you do think as well. But my opinion is it's good, but I'm gonna have to try another angle brush from the line. It's okay. So that is it on my IT brush review on the IT Love Beautifully set and also the airbrush set. Um, like I said, they do have so many more brushes in the line to choose from. I got mine at Ulta, and um, they have such a variety here that you can pick from. So whatever works best for you. Each purchase um, of one of these brushes, where I think is really important to tell you guys, is a certain amount is donated to a certain amount of money is donated to the Look Good Feel Good Foundation. Which, if you guys don't know what that it is, it's actually um, I'm going to be doing it for 2015 volunteering um, doing makeup on uh, patients who are going through cancer so um, that is my 2015 what I'm going to be doing is volunteering for that and when I heard about the look good feel good foundation I decided to be a part of it and I just got done with um, being certified for it do something really nice for the world and bring a smile to women's faces so I'm really looking forward to that thank you so much for watching you guys Love you.